In this video, I'm going to explain how we can make an instant app, such as the one we're seeing on the screen. With an app like this, a member of the public can click on their given location and find schools within a certain proximity to their location. To do this, we're going to start in ArcGIS Online, and what we need is a feature layer of the schools. So I've already got nurseries as a feature layer in my ArcGIS Online account. But if you don't know how to create a layer, there are two ways in which you can get started simply. The first is to upload your data from a spreadsheet. You can scan this QR code or copy the link of the URL on the screen to watch a video that will explain how you can do this. Alternatively, you can create a layer in ArcGIS Online by following the steps in this video you can see on the screen. And by following this video, you can create a custom layer with certain attributes and fields that you can then populate to begin to understand where your schools are located. Going back to ArcGIS Online, I've got my schools layer, so I now want to view this on a map. So to do so, we're going to open in Map Viewer. Here's a map that I've made already, which simply has different schools layers uh, ranging from secondary, primary and special schools. And I'm also going to add in nurseries, which was from the layer we were just looking at. So I've got my nurseries layer and I want to add it to ArcGIS Online. And as we can see, the symbology doesn't quite match the rest of the uh, symbology on this map. So we're going to go ahead and update that. I can edit the symbology style as follows. And I'm going to change the symbol to one of a baby, indicating that it's a nursery. I'm going to make this slightly bigger so that it fits the rest of the symbology. So now that the symbol matches the rest of them on the map, I also want to change how the information looks on a pop-up so that when somebody explores the information about a nursery, it's presented a bit cleaner than what we're currently seeing. And to do this, I'm going to navigate to the pop-ups tab. Now I'm simply going to delete the fields list as I'm going to manually be putting in uh, my fields and my content using a text button. So with this text button, it allows me to draw in fields from my data, but I can have control over the font, the font size and the color. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some fields that I want uh, to be brought up from my data. And as you can see, I'm able to bring in fields such as the site name and address of the school. So all of these fields that I am selecting from my data have been predefined in advance within ArcGIS Online. So I've added in information already about the schools in terms of the telephone number, the address, the postcode, and I've done this all from the underlying feature layer. So because that's all been created in the background, I can then go ahead and reference those fields within the pop-up. Now I'd like to make all of my text an Arial font, and with the results of the site name and address, I would like them to be highlighted in a blue colour. Now, if I press done, we can see the information has updated here. So it's a bit cleaner that where it's presented to members of the public and they can easily understand and visualize the information presented about the nursery. So now that I've got a map which contains the fields appropriate for my different levels of schooling, and I've customized how the visualizations look in terms of the symbology and also the information provided in a pop-up, I'm going to go ahead and save this map and then I can create my instant app. So the instant app that I want to be using is the nearby instant app. And what this instant app allows us to see is the proximity to a location. So this will allow members of the public to put in their home address and see the distance to their nearest school facility.
When creating an ArcGIS Instant app, you're automatically taken into the Express mode. The Express mode gives you a series of steps that you can follow to create your Instant app, making it really simple and quick to get started. So step one is selecting the map. So because we created this Instant app directly from the map viewer, we are already using the correct map. Next, we can change the app title if necessary, or give a title for introduction. We can then edit the custom text that comes up on the screen that instructs users how to use the app. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to keep this text the same. Step three allows us to select which layers are going to be included in the results. Now we can select how the search method is conducted. So you can set a maximum search distance. So for instance, people can search within a five kilometer radius in the example I'm providing but you can set these parameters as necessary. And I would like to use a layer effect so that when somebody um, does search on the app for a specific school, there will be a strong drop shadow that appears on the schools that are within this certain catchment area. And I'd also like to show directions. Now the directions will allow the member of the public to see directions from their current location to their nearest school. We can also define whether there is text for whether there is no school results appearing within the radius defined. As you can see, ArcGIS Instant Apps is constantly saving as I make edits to the app. So with step four, we can select the locator that is used to search when somebody inputs their address in the top of the search bar. I'm going to keep this the same for this demo. And in step five, we're allowed to edit the customization of the application, whether we have a dark or a light theme, or even a custom theme from our organization. So in this theme, it's automatically populated my organization's logo and the colors that are used consistently for my organization. And I can also just go ahead and reshuffle the locations of these widgets, such as the zoom controls and home buttons, as you can see, they are changing across the screen to depend on where I would like to set them. Now that we've finished the five steps necessary to create this instant app, I can go ahead and publish the application. Now that my app has been published, I can set the sharing levels so I can share this with members of the public as necessary. I can then copy the link to the application so that I'm able to embed the application within my council's website, for example. I can launch the app also just to double check how it works. And at any point I can go ahead and edit the app and how it's being customized and the data that sits behind it. As we can see, if I search for a location, we can now see the different schools that are within a certain radius of my search area, which is currently one kilometer. Now we're shown with the custom pop-ups that we created in the map, so we can then find out information about the schools. I can also then go ahead and click the directions button, which would then allow me to understand the directions to take for different modes of transport, including driving and walking. So by searching this, I can then now understand as a member of the public, my route for walking from my location to the school I've selected. And there you have it. That is how we can make an instant app to notify members of the public of their nearest schooling facility.